Hi, everybody. Welcome to your National Scrapbooking Day. I hope everyone has plans about all the great creations that they're going to complete. I hope I get a chance to look at a lot of the videos today, between today, tomorrow, and this weekend. I wanted to share a couple of things um, that I've been working on or that I've purchased in the last couple of days. And the first thing is that one of the stores here went out of business. And she has like a almost like a Tuesday morning type of feel, I think. And she um, is where I bought most of my ribbon. And so um, she went out and said she had a 75% off sale, which is really good. So here are the ribbons that I bought. And I ended up paying um, $50. And it doesn't look like a lot of ribbon for $50, but these are 20-yard rolls for each color. So each one of these is 20 yards of ribbon. So, um, I thought that was really good. What was what was like thirty or thirty five dollars a yard, I pay like eight or nine dollars a yard. So I thought that was good. So I bought that and I wanted to buy nice spring colors. They have beautiful colors there. But I had to stick with these browns and beiges and whites because I'm working on a project for my brother. Now he has a client that requested some thank you cards for whatever her business is. I don't remember. So I want to show you that card real quick. Here it is. And it's a large card. It is 5 by 6 and 7 eighths. And I did that. She's going to put her business card across the top right here and then her own sentiment right there, I think. So she can go ahead and sign it. But what I did was I used basic grays, um... What is this? There, I can't remember the name of the collection. Hold on, let me see. Their basic craft um, collection. Because my colors were like browns, beiges, whites, and pinks. Okay? And so this page right here is from Tim Holt. It's his... And it's top of his gone. Ideology collection. It's the one that has the pink and the blue and the beige all in there together. Okay. And then this is one of the ribbons that I bought from the sale. And one of the reasons why I bought, I went specifically because I knew I was making, I'm making 50 cards. So I needed to make sure I had enough ribbon of either the, the beige and white or then I can substitute and probably add the dark brown. So we'll see what happens with that. Then the thank you is cut off my Cricut, and then I glimmer misted it with this glimmer mist from Tattered Angels called Pink Bubble Gum, and then I used my Martha Stewart Punch for the butterflies, and I added, I added um, the little antennas with my white gel pen, and so, but the card, the card base let me tell you about that real quick. Now, when I usually, I've made, like, um, or had a few clients, I guess you could say, who requested my cards. And when I do that, I always try to buy pre-made card bases. So I'm not spending a lot of time cutting. And, and, you know, my cutting to measure the cards are not always as straight. So I like to buy the pre-made cards. That I enjoy. So I usually buy um, Paper Tray Ink. They're my go-to card right now. Love their cards. And you get 20 cards for $6 off of their website. Love it. But the problem was um, my brother waited too long. And because I'm in Bermuda, I have to wait for shipping and this and that and other thing. So it was not going to get here in time. So I had to go and do some research and see what I found on the island to do the same thing because I was not going to spend all my white card stock, you know, trying to cut it and not have extra left over. So I didn't use these, but I did find, oddly enough, were these. So these are photo, what they call photo mount cards, and they come, they come with, hold on, with the, um, the dry embossing already on the card. 
So I said that was that was perfect. And then I just, you know, like I said, added the inside portion of it. Okay. And then that. And so I'll actually also go and she's going to put her business card in here. So I'll go and I'll pr cut off some photo corners from my silhouette, what I have on my silhouette. So she can, and then glue them down so she can just stick her card in there. And it's not as um, detailed as it would be because uh, for the price that they're paying, but because I am putting something on the inside, which I never do, it'll it'll balance itself out cost-wise. So anyway, that's the card for that. Uh, let me see. I also found um, one of the people that I, uh, I don't call it stalking. A lot of people call it stalking, but that I keep track of is Amy from Prairie Paper and Ink. She has a blog, and she also has a YouTube channel here. And... She did a video a while ago on her scrapbook room about how she stores her ribbon. And she stores ribbon on the whole roll, but then she stores loose ribbon. And so one of the things that she did to store the loose ribbon was to store it on these. Right? So I thought it was really ingenious. And if you check out her video, I'm going to try to... Um, try to uh link her video down below. I always say link her video by the time by the time the video comes through, it's already been posted. So I'm gonna try to link the video to her um so you can have her website on there, her uh blog and her YouTube channel where she talks about um uh, storing her ribbon. She has a really nice craft room. So um uh how she stores her ribbon because once she winds it all on here, she doesn't use the little sticky she uses a pen. I have to get some pens later on. But she stores them on this. So I was in the craft store, and I found these. Right? And so I didn't buy not one package. I bought two, three, four. And you say, how come four... But in Bermuda, you can pretty much be guaranteed that you might not see it again. So I went ahead and I bought them. I wish they were all this color, but I'm all right with that. The idea is there. And she actually stored them in these huge hurricane lamps, and she uh, sorted them by color. And it's a very pretty visual um, in her scrap room. So, I bought that, and I thought that was awesome. So, I'm going to go and hopefully start putting on my loose ribbon, which I buy a lot of um, here, and put my loose ribbon on that, on these, okay? And what else did I want to share with you? I think that is it but I'll be back to I guess to put up some more videos for National Scrapbooking Day why wouldn't we I hope everybody who's out there who's on YouTube are making some videos for the day there are some great projects out there that I want to um, complete for the day I know that um, for Mother's Day and Scrapbooking Day I'm going to scrapbook um, a couple of pages of, of me and my son here's our, our look our, our signature pose so, um, this was two years ago when he started kindergarten, right? And this, well, and these two are kindergarten. He's, he's in uniform, so he wears a, um, a PE uniform and a regular school uniform. And then this is first grade. This is first grade. So, um, isn't he a cutie patootie? So um, this is what they look like when they get dressed up for their photos. This is the winter uniform. The first one is the um, the summer uniform right there. And this is what the winter uniform looks like. So anyway, I'm going to scrapbook a couple of these pages for him and I. Um, whoa. Excuse me. For scrapbooking day, hopefully. 
and post them to, and I want to post on my blog. So anyway, I hope people are making videos because I'll be checking out your videos and posting to them. So have a great day, and I will check you out later. Oh, one more thing. Don't forget to sign up for my birthday swap. The last day to sign up is tomorrow. And I'm hoping that um, a couple more people will come over and join us. Don't be nervous about shipping to Bermuda. It's really quite easy. You just go to the post office and you fill up the form and 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 that's it. It's not in much more um, detailed than that. So have a great day. Hope to hear from you. Talk to you soon.